it. Do you know how to start off? One of the most important things, sleep on time. Wow. Did you know that? One of the most important things when you want to change your life is to sleep on time. Wow. Everyone is quiet because we're in the UK and the sun only sets after nine o'clock. Wow. See? Sleep on time. If you sleep on time, you will get up fresh early morning in time for what you are supposed to get up for. And what is that? What is that? What is that? Some are saying work. Some are saying fajr. Some are saying tahajjud. Wow. I didn't hear anyone say breakfast. <laughs> when the eye opens, what's the first thing you should do? You want to change your life? Relate the opening of your eye to the giver of that life. Alhamdulillah alladhi ahyana. Wow. First words came out of my mouth. This is a change. The change starts with this consciousness of Allah. That's how it starts. So one might say, okay, you know what? I'm changing from today. I'm growing my beard. I'm changing from today. I'm covering myself fully, top to bottom. Good change. But if you're not conscious of the maker with that beard, you will still insult. With the good dressing, you will still insult. But when you're conscious of the maker, it's a holistic approach to the correction. This is why we say, as soon as your eye opens, first thing, tomorrow morning, remember this, you set your clock, as soon as it rings, I hope you set a clock that rings. Subhanallah. At the right time, neither the breakfast nor the work. Inshallah, at least for the fajr. As soon as the eye opens, what are you going to say? All praise is due to he who gave me this life. Alhamdulillah alladhi ahiyana. All praise is due to he, to Allah, who has given us this life after he had taken it away. You know the description of sleep. If you start your day with that dua, Good news to you. What is to follow will be far more spiritual. It will be far more rightly guided. Your day has started on the right side. MashaAllah. And then you get up. I'm sure you've seen the clip where I spoke about lifting that blanket up. You know, makes you strong. When I was coming here, one of my relatives was telling me about a six pack, you know, boasting. I said, look, brother, normally the airlines that I travel on, they allow one big pack. So I don't waste my time. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Six pack, wow. You can have a six pack, it won't help you. If you have that laziness in you, it's not going to let your blanket be lifted off with your strength. It requires the inner strength, even if you have one big pack, mashallah. And I'm not promoting that because it's very unhealthy. <laughs> so, brothers and sisters, are we ready, inshallah? We start off, we get to bed early. Get up in the morning. These are practical lessons. You know, one might think, oh, I came all the way to listen to how to get up in the morning. Wallahi, it's a fact. Yes, you did. You did. And if you practice upon it, you will see the benefit of it. Believe me, 